Get it on, get it on, get it on. Get it on, yeah. I do not own the rights to this music. But I do love music. And today is a wonderful day for us to talk about music. What y'all doing? Hey, Alexa, stop. I love music, any kind of music. What y'all no good today? It's a wonderful Wednesday. Wait a second, let me get my lighting right, y'all. We're going to talk about music today. You know what? I think I might go outside. It's so nice. Just give me a second. What y'all know good? Happy Wednesday! It's a beautiful day! I'm gonna go outside. Oh, oh. Oops, sorry y'all. Hey, Denise! Hey, Tamisa! Hey, Derek! How y'all are? Look, I'm outside. I came outside. It's so nice out here. Woo! It's wonderful. Nice little breeze. How y'all doing? Oh, it's nice to enjoy the backyard. Okay. It's a wonderful Wednesday. How y'all doing? It's so good to see you. I am grateful to be here connecting with y'all. Hey, sweetie pie. And uh, today I said we're going to talk about music. You know what? There is enough. And sweetie, thank you for reminding me of this. There is enough. Let me see if this... Does this light make it a little better? Can y'all see me better like that now? Um, there's enough foolishness, sadness, depression, disgust going around. We 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 talk we talk about it. You know we talk about it when it's appropriate. Cause I believe in being timely and mindful. However, comma, let's focus on what is good. Let's focus on what is is righteous. Let's focus on what is pure. Music. Music, music, music. If y'all were with me when I first came on, I was playing the OJs. I love music. I love music. And I hope you do too. Because what I really want to hear from y'all today is like, what is your go-to jam? Like, what is the thing when you wake up and you kind of like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know about today. And that you play like that and it does it. What is that song? What, what song does it for you? Let me see. I'm going to have to turn my, turn my attention so I can look at the screen. There we go. I hope y'all can still see me. What is the what song does it? Okay, so I got a couple of them. And it's completely appropriate because today is Stevie Wonder's birthday. Happy birthday, Stevie Wonder. Steve Lynn Morris, born in Saginaw, Michigan. I grew up in Saginaw, Michigan. I was born here, but I grew up in Saginaw, Michigan. So I've always held that as a fantastic point of trivia and pride that he grew up in or was born in Saginaw and I grew up in Saginaw. Because otherwise you wouldn't know what Saginaw, Michigan was. But, okay, so what is the song? So, um, there are a couple different songs for me that just get me moving. Um, but I want to hear from you first. Give me a jam. Tell me what it is. Let me see if I know, if I know your cut. Because I'm telling y'all, music can just move you. It can, it can, it can caress you. It can hug you. It can love you. It can support you. It can encourage you. It can meet you where you are emotionally. If you feeling like, you know, you just want to be in that solitary moment. If you need some peace and calm, music can offer all those things. Am I right? Music is just like, it's an elixir. And so it is a, a gift for us and it's universal. I love that about music, that it doesn't have any barriers. There are no boundaries to it. If you like what you like, you like what you like. So what song is your your go-to jam? Like when you want to get up and get going, what is, what is one of your go-to jams? And then, you know, like tell me your all-time favorite jams for music because there's so many different genres available and I, I don't limit myself to any specific genre. What about y'all? So tell me what you got. And then I also want to know, like, who are my purists out there? Who are the people who have vinyl? Who still got some vinyl? Because we still have vinyl. But who got some vinyl? Let me see. What y'all saying? <laughs> you on a Zoom call? Oh, okay. Chandra said, Diana Ross, I'm coming out. All right. That's it. That is a jam. Oh, mm -mm. 
and the drum line on that song. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. V, I hate you can't join us. We gonna jam to some music. Um, Derek, you play so many good cuts. I know you got to have some. Let's see, Crush. Okay, by Usher and like. Okay, now that's a good song. That's a good song. That's a really good song. Okay, let me see. I got a question. Okay, let me see. Um, what song does it for me, y'all? Okay, if like if I want to get up, it's too many. I know. Um. Like, do you have an all-time favorite jam? Okay, y'all tell me. We'll do it like this. The song that gets you up, Chandra and Tamee and Tanise sang theirs. Hey, Reverend Myra. So what song? Chandra got I Come, I'm Coming Out and Crush. And I love, um, okay, one song that gets, gets me up. And like, if I'm dragging, Go Get It by Mary Mary. Love that. Go get it. Because, you know, that song is a motivator for me and it's like you know go get your blessing but now the song that i can really jam to depending on where my mindset is and judge me not judge me not should i tell y'all <laughs> oh yes in the air tonight that's a good one let's see Derek, you said neo soul uh-huh love all the music but that neo soul especially underground artists yep you remember when Erica Badu and Jill Scott were underground, when they were underground artists? And then speaking of them, who saw the verses with them? It wasn't even verses. It was like unity. That, that thing was amazing. Your favorite song by the Dramatics. Okay. That's my, okay. All right. K. Winslow. Y'all giving some good ones. In the Air Tonight is good too. Um, Neo Soul is just straight up. You know Hidden Beach, Derek, the Hidden Beach um when they would do it, and and then what about my jazz enthusiasts? Y'all got some jazz? Where's like, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite music? Like, what's your go-to thing? What's the thing that really gets you up and gets you pumped up? Sunshine in my life. The Clark Sisters. Yes. Legendary Clark Sisters. You can't, you know, come on now. Yes. You brought the sunshine in my life. Yes, yes, yes. You can't go wrong with the Clark Sisters. Ain't no doubt about that. Um, let me see. What else, y'all? What else? Oh, um, One Nation Under Groove. Don't talk to me about it. One Nation Under a Groove. Getting down just for the funk of it. Mm-hmm. Old school. Oh, funkin' for Jamaica. All right now, Tom Brown, I see you. All right, all right, Myra. Mona Lisa. Oh, yes. Okay. Jasmine Sullivan. Yes. Jasmine Sullivan, Mona Lisa. That, you know what? I, I listened. Thanks to Michael B. Moore. I had a Jasmine Sullivan fest. And you talk about an unsung talent. Yes, indeed. That's a good one. The Manhattans. Okay. Come on now. Old school Manhattans. Who else? Y'all. I'm trying to think of what are the songs that I like about the Manhattans. Help me out, Winslow. Let's see, Derek. You said the verse between Jilly from Philly and Erica Badu was fat. Yes, it was. Love them. I love the vibe with them. I'm going to tell you what. I have been playing Danger by Erica Badu like every day since then. Because that bass line, whoo. And then I'm a, I'm a sucker for some bass. You give me a good snare, drum, and then add that 808, it's over. It's all over for me. I used to have a car that played the bass. It was just the sound system in that car was so, her name was Betsy. Rest in peace, Betsy. Maybe you living on somewhere. Somebody loves you. But you talking about some this phenomenal system. Ooh, I would just get in that car and me and Jason, Native King, my baby, we would get in that car and listen to Warren G. What you talking about? Um... Bobby Caldwell. Okay, now Winslow, you 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 going you going deep. You gonna have to give me some titles. I I'm gonna have to look that up. All right, and what about our our dearly departed? What y'all got from um, uh, Betty Wright and um, Little Richard? Andre Harrell. He had so many doggone hits. He made he was a hit maker. He was a hit maker. Kiss and say goodbye. Yes, that's it. Uh. 
I can't make you love me. Yes, yeah, Chandra, that is. That's your cut. Uh-huh. Um, hey, Jackie Claxton Taylor. Uh, well, hey, Wilma. So we're talking about music. Let me see. You want tickets to see? Really? Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, I bet that was wonderful. Favorite music. Okay. I can't make you love me. Okay. Every, oh, so many different artists have done that. Yes, that's good. Oh, Bill Withers. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes. Yes. Then I look at you. Hey. Y'all doing some thing. Anything Whitney Houston. Oh, my goodness. Anything Whitney Houston. You know what? Some of the songs I love about Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston were the songs that weren't not as well known right you know if you when you listen to the albums it's back when they, you know you had the albums and you listen to it and uh okay okay look at the line of notes okay see Derek playing with me right now you think i don't know Reby? centipede okay don't do it you know i know centipede i know centipede come on Reby. Reby jackson got that centipede out and she got it oh wait a minute oh reverend myra doing it to us we had a love call yes we did girl and it went something like this what y'all say what y'all know about that come on do 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 and then jeffrey osmore said ha he said, and that was our little call when I listened to you, you heard me say, yes, that's the jam right there. That's the jam. A song for you. Oh, okay, Tanise, when she did that for the military people, do you remember that performance? <gasps> Whoo. Okay, we can't talk about Whitney Houston, Tanise. I'm going to get emotional. Whoo. I can't take it. Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Prince. I can't take it, y'all. I can't take it. Come on with it. Y'all getting some good ones. Y'all got some good ones. Let me see. Um, who y'all leaving out? Okay, what about your favorite song by Stevie Wonder since today's his birthday? Give me a Stevie Wonder cut. What y'all like about Stevie Wonder? One of my favorite songs is As. And y'all know it's not As. It's an assets, but As. A-S. As if you read my mind. As if you touch my soul. That's a jam. But then, of course, you got the all-time, do I do, 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 what? Okay, so now, Winslow did, Let's Just Kiss and Say Goodbye by the Manhattans. Now, that's an all-time classic song. Y'all got to go on there and say, let's just kiss and say goodbye. Oh, creeping. Okay, now, see, Derek, you doing it. You coming on with the come on. You've been listening to some some albums. You've been looking at some liner notes. Tony Braxton, Nancy Wilson, Chandra bringing it. LTD, Whitney Houston, Anita Baker. Yes, the Commodores. Ah, 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 zoom, zoom, baby. Okay, but then what, can y'all say Jesus is love? Y'all, come on. Does anybody know that? The Commodores. What about the good old fashioned Earth, Wind, and Fire? Can y'all say Maurice White was right here from right here in Memphis, Tennessee? You want my love, but you can't deny. Woo! That B-side, the B-side had some cuts. The B-sides were some straight up cuts. Do you know how many 45s we got? When this thing gets done and we can, you know, let people back safely in the house, Derek, I'm going to tell you what. Okay. You got some B-sides, baby. It's some 45s. Real love by Lakeside. Mm-mm. Don't do it. Don't talk to me. That's a 45. I hunt that 45 down. Luther Vandross. Talk about creeping. Why must it be you always gone? Luther could do that. He, he'd run that. He'd run that octave. I ain't going to even try to touch it. Rest in peace, Luther Vandross. Woo! What y'all got? Let me see. We got, okay. Did anybody say Tina Marie? Did anybody say Tina Marie? Y'all know we have Vanilla Soul. Anybody say Tina Marie? And then we can't leave out Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Let me rock it. You know what's funny? That song, she said she hated that song, that uh, feel for you, because she was like, that is the craziest thing in the world, hearing my name repeated over and over again. I love that song. That's one of my favorites. Okay, let me see. Oh, yes. Joy and Pain. Just to hear, who, 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 
Leading into it, right? You knew you were getting ready to just, you know, chill. Hey. <laughs> okay, see? Come on now. Whitney Houston. Just a lonely. Okay, see, Derek, you killing me. Y'all. Killing me. D-Latch, what's going on? Tell me about some music. Okay. And then, Derek, you ain't stopped me yet. I'm so glad that I'm on the same. Me and you, we right here. We right here. Casanova Brown. You and Casanova Brown. Because, you know, she had that vibrato in her voice. <laughs> Did you hear me calling, baby? It went a little bit like this. Yes, Tina Marie. Lady T. Y'all know I was calling myself Lady T. When Tina Marie and uh, Rick James. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. Mays featuring Frankie Beverly. We are one. We need to play that song. Everybody need to post that on their page. We are one. No matter what you feel, we are one. And that's the way it is. We are one. Y'all got some good old R&B. Let me tell you something. Some of the best lessons that were ever taught, though, came from some rap artists. Can somebody say hello? Hello, 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 hello. What rap artists you know didn't teach a lesson? Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Run DMC. I just thought about it because I said it's like that and that's the way it is. Huh. Okay. He said, they said, they wrote, the next time someone's teaching, why don't you get taught? Because it's like that. What? And that's the way it is. Huh. Tell me. Those people, talent. Uh, Rick had hits. What you talking about? Hey, Fred Allen. Y'all got a full spectrum of music going on right here. I love it. I want somebody to tell me, like, who are we missing? Because there's so many artists that we just have been gifted with, right? We have so many artists that have blessed us with music that has inspired and healed and uplifted and supported. You know, you think about not just the, 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 the new artists who are doing the doggone thing and holding it down, but you're talking about old school artists who paved the way, set the foundation for a lot of this stuff that's being sampled right now. Come on, Karen Mustang Brown. This right up in your town, Karen Mustang Brown. You've been killing some of them songs, just beautifully re redoing those songs. What is the song you love to sing? Because, see, for me... Y'all here, I, I don't, I'm not a singer, but I love to sing. And don't let me get a song that you know I know the lyrics to. Don't tell me I'm not that artist. Especially if I got the, the music up loud enough and I can't really hear myself. It's on. Fred, what you want to hear? What you want to hear, y'all? What you say, Melissa? Do you still love me? Come on now, Derek. You do a Melissa Morgan. Come on, Melissa Morgan. Yes, and then you got artists that are totally unsung, like Melissa Morgan, Angela Wimbush, Angela Bofield. And I don't even need to say this because y'all haven't said it, so I would be remiss. We cannot possibly have a, a moment in time together without talking about Phyllis Hyman. How come y'all ain't saying nothing about Phyllis Hyman? It's too many to name. I know it's so many, Karen. But I just want you to give me something. Give me one, like one something that you know. Like what is one of the most requ requested songs that people ask you to do? Because you have such a beautiful voice. What do they ask you to do? And Jeanette, how are you doing? Come on, tell me what music you listening to. What did you listen to last that had you up and you were like, yay, hey, hey. And then we've been gifted with so many DJs that have been just blessing us. With just sets, sets after sets. D Nice, RJ Smooth, Cavanche. Y'all, we we got we have uh John Best. We got some folks who we have access to that are giving us some real deal. I mean, like jams. Okay, what y'all saying? I guess I oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now, wait a minute now, wait, 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 wait a minute now. Michael Jackson. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay, Patty LaBelle. How dare we? Thank you, Karen. Patty La Doggone Bell. Really? Ooh, if only you knew. Okay. All right. I can't do it. Oh, oh, and Jeanette. No, you didn't. Come on. Now, you think I don't know that song, but I do. 
I'm too lonely to be alone. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Meet me on the moon. Phyllis Hyman. Phyllis Hyman. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yes, indeed. Let's go and give it on up. No pain, no pain, no gain. No, no pain, no pain, no gain. And that's the truth in some cases. Mm -mm. Meet me on the moon. Yes, I'm going to tell you, Phyllis Hyman. Y'all, if I had a couple glasses of wine, don't you tell me I'm not Phyllis Hyman. Felisa. I'm Felisa Hyman. Because <laughs> I'll do a meet me on the moon soon as you can. In the middle of the sky, you and I. Yes. That's, woo, Phyllis Hyman. Lord, have mercy. Which, you know, that takes me to some of these artists. Y'all know that they just struggled, some of them, with, with mental health issues. And this is Mental Health Month. And so music can be a healer. It can help you. And so we just encourage people to lean into that and get the help they need. Let me see. What you say? What you say? Star point. Am I still the one? Okay. Okay. Wait a minute now. Star point also did. Didn't they do? You're the object. Of my desire, come on, baby, turn me on. There, am I right? Come on now, come on now, come on now. <laughs> this is too fun. Y'all having fun with me? And Anita Baker, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with Anita Baker. It just is. You cannot go wrong. It period. No matter what you singing by her, where this oh angel, you're my. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Uh, no more tears. Oh my goodness. And there'll be no more tears for y'all. Hey! Yes, Anjanette. Mm mm mm. She said she cried her last cry. Woo! My neighbor's probably like, "What is she doing in this backyard?" But I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm getting some sun. And I'm having some fun. Y'all doing it. Come on with it. Y'all doing it. Um, who have we forgotten, y'all? We got we covered all the bands, all the big time bands, you know, from back in the day. Because you had the Commodores, you had the stylistics. Oh, we didn't say, hurry up this way again. Hoo-hoo. Hey. Come on, y'all. We had the Commodores, LTD, Earth, Wind, and Fire. So many fantastic talents. And they were just organic. Like, they just did it. And you know what? Let me tell y'all something. Who have we forgotten? James Brown. Hmm? Come on now. James Brown? Sam Cooke? Come on, y'all. Let me see what you say. Okay. All right. That's okay, Karen Musang. Y'all, Karen Musang, y'all see her on here. She's going to be celebrating her birthday. So she is, her living room next Sunday on May 24th at 6.30. Her birthday, she's 5-0, big 5-0, beautiful. Rocking it out, doing the doggone thing. Let me see. And Luther, you like big Luther? You you know, I had to tell you though, Anjanette, Luther Vandross was consistent. He, his voice was not affected, whether he was big Luther or little Luther. Do you think? Do you think, Carolyn Matterweather, what do you think? Was Big Luther or Little Luther? Which one you like better? Because I think his voice pretty much stayed the same, y'all. I don't know that his voice was, was affected by his weight loss. Yes. And a house is not a home. He said a chair is still a chair. Mm, 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 even when there's no one sitting there. And you know, the Carpenters, they did that. That was, that was, he, he, that was a remix. But, you know, there are some songs that are done better by the artists that remade them than the original. So, case in point, Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You, classic. Dolly Parton, I'm sure, is grateful. Oh, 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 Karen, you killing me. Oh, you said, are you saying still? Like the Commodore still? Like, I still love you. Still. Oh, you killing me. Mm. Ooh, y'all got some good ones. And uh, what's that song? Um, who them babies? The Jacksons did it first. 
and then it was redone by another group. Y'all help me. Sweetie, I know you're on here. Help me. Jennifer Holiday. Girl. Boy. Man. Woman. Child. You talking about a voice. Do we? I can, uh, ain't no point in even trying to touch that one. Chapter 8. That's why. Please let me be your girl. Cammy, come on in here and tell us what songs you like. That chapter eight, that was still Anita Baker doing her thing. That's just like um Luther Vandross was with the other group before he got to be chance before or change before he got a chance to get out on his own. We are looking for music, 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 music. And let me think. Um y'all know the song I'm thinking about. You may not know it. Um Oh, okay. All right. The songs was were sexier when Big Luther. Okay. Okay. Like creep. That's what you mean? Hmm. But y'all help me. Um, the song that the Jacksons did originally, and then a group did it. Um. Oh yeah. Forever. For always, for love. That dog on Layla Hathaway's voice so smooth, and we're not gonna even talk about a dad, honey. Donnie Hathaway, rest in peace. That was that was pure silk right there. Oh, oh, Gloria, my Gloria, yeah, yes. Come on, y'all, y'all doing it? I just think, um. Somebody gonna help me think about that song. It's not all I do is think of you. I don't think that's the name of the song. I'm trying to think what's the name of that song. Somebody help me. The Jacksons did it. Never can say goodbye. No, 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 no. I... That's a great song. That's not it though. No, it's a it's a group. It was like um. Oh, I, I Force and D's is what I'm thinking of. But that wasn't a group. It was the group where they were like they were on the stoop. And they sang that song, and it's like, I can't wait to get to home each day. That's it. My way and here. Anybody know what I'm talking about? True. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I was singing it right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Because I'm sitting here singing a song like, y'all know, but am I right? Troop would be on that stoop. Oh, yeah, wait a minute, y'all. I switched, switched the thing. You know, Troop would be on that stoop. Da 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 da. Falling in love so hey. Right? <laughs> Who else knows that? Another hot day, day. Okay, you know what we didn't say? Oh, Teddy Pendergrass. What is wrong with us? Turn them off. <laughs> or better yet uh how about when he sang um i don't love you anymore it's just as simple <laughs> he made it plain okay so then that takes me to barry white curtis mayfield it's so many people oh my gosh y'all we have just how can we ever this it's never ending what a gift right what a gift a wonderful way to spend our Wednesday together. But that dog on Teddy Pendergrass, he would just tell you what he would make what he was saying into a song. He like looked like another love. TKO. Whoa. You can just knock me out. And he said, you know, he wants you to turn off the lights. Turn them off. <laughs> he just, you want to take a shower? Let's take a shower. A shower together. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Stephanie Mills. How in the world can we be on here without talking about Stephanie Mills? Goodness. And then, you know, she got the all-time classic. Home. In addition to all the other things. Home. Stephanie Mills. It's just, this. we gonna have to, y'all continue to post the stuff on here. And it's, what a gift. That's all I can say. What a gift Wednesday. And then, yes, Run DMC, that's what I said, Run DMC. Do you know that Run DM, doggone C, y'all, was the first, their history was the first rap group, period, to have an endorsement deal. 
They were the first to get a sponsorship. And who was it with? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody know what what company? What company was it? Come on, y'all. What company was it? Because they put these shoes on the map. Anybody? Come on now. Come function. Yes, ma'am. Linda Shop, how you doing? Linda Shop. Linda Shop is a music teacher, was a music teacher. And um, my sister got a chance to sing with her in a group called Triple Trio. And my sister Jackie has a beautiful voice. And so, you know, Triple Trio was nine girls. And they sang so beautifully. I didn't get to be in Triple Trio, um, but I got to be in a trio. And I'm going to tell you the song that they, they sang. Because my sister was a soprano, and they thought I was a soprano. But obviously, y'all see, I'm not. I'm an alto. And uh, but I got a chance to sing and I don't know what the name of that song is, but it was an Irish song. I know where I'm going. Stacy Lattisall. Yes, Stacy Lattisall. And the H Town. Whoa. Somebody rocking, knocking up. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. My uh Adidas. Yes. They got that doggone deal. They killed it. They opened the door for so many other artists to be able to have that, those endorsement deals. They, they put that and they just went, that was through the roof, off the charts. Gina Rupert, what you know good? Give us a song. Doggone H-Town. What happened to H-Town? And then Stacey Lattisau, let me say something to you. Stacey Lattisau was young. She was talented. She was rocking. Who remember her with the polo? She had that polo with them, with them, with the collar popped up. She was looking preppy. Oh, and then speaking of preppy, how did we not say something about Cheryl Lynn? Preppy, preppy boy. Ho, ho. Now, if you know Cheryl Lynn, you know that. If you don't, then you know Encore. Your good love deserves an encore. <laughs> Who else? We have so many. And then y'all talked about Michael Jackson, but let me say something to you about Michael Jackson. I had to have one moment of silence for Michael Jackson. Because let me tell y'all what I know. Michael Jackson, untouched. We not, we not, yeah. Michael Jackson, Prince, whew, they they all categorized. That's that's a separate, we, we had to have a separate, customized, specialized, specially dedicated time just for them, Okay. Because there are too many to mention. And there's probably a whole bunch of songs that Michael Jackson Prince got out that most of you don't even know. So we're not going to do that. But now let me tell y'all something about Johnny Gill. Is that not a singing man? That's a singing man right there. That's a singing man. Ooh, that dog on Johnny Gill. When Johnny Gill came to New Edition, he saved New Edition. Who else agreed with me? Fight me. Fight me. Come on, Cletus. Johnny Gill saved New Edition, and I love New Edition, but Johnny Gill, when he joined New Edition, when they were going through all of that stuff, he, he made all the difference for them. Okay, yes. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What you say, Internet? The fat boys. The fat boys. You know the dentist. <laughs> I love it. And Gina, yes. Um, uh, total, three girls. Um. I th we just heard a song the other day from them. Uh, what about you? What about us? What we gonna do, do, do? What we gonna do? That's Missy Elliott and Timberland producing, killing it. But kissing you is the jam. Kissing you is all that I've been thinking of. Yes, a jam. That's a jam. Okay, Karen. Johnny Dangon Gill. My 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 Now how you how many people how many people can do a two letter word and make it into a song? My 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 Come on, Johnny Gill. Can't nobody do that. And then SWV. Which which SWV song come to mind for y'all? Cause immediately I get so weak. That's my go-to. I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control, then something takes over me. Yes. Okay. Baby dang on face. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. And Angie B? Yes, be Angie B. 
Y'all killing it. Y'all doing it. Come on, 90s. Now, you know what? I'm going to have to get y'all together real quick now. Because nobody has said my girl. Why y'all holding out on Tony Braxton? Why y'all holding out on Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige, come on, y'all. Don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. Mary J. Blige, come on. She the queen of hip-hop soul. Why y'all holding out on Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige, my girl. What y'all got to say about Mary J. Blige? That whole scene, right? Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige. That was a whole 90s. Who is so many. Who the sun kind of eating me up right now. I can't see y'all. Let me come come around this way. There we go. Well, no. Sun so bright. Sun so bright. Sun so bright. What you say? Okay. Oh, yes. I'm so into you. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And Angie Stone. That's another one. She has not gotten her just due. She has not. Angie Stone has not gotten her credit. And y'all gonna Angie Stone. And even her latest song, um, she said the lyrics. Some of the times you, you don't understand how good a song is until you listen to the lyrics. You really have to understand what they're saying, what they're coming from. Because like SUV said, you know, that they had an issue, uh, that the condition that they didn't want no help with. Huh? Come on now. Hey, Sabrina. Sabrina can too. Um, uh, y'all see she got Sabrina Cantu, Gary Berta. I She's Sabrina Cantu to me. Sabrina Cantu and I go all the way back. And y'all just give her a thumbs up and show us some love. Sabrina, we love you. She's a nurse working it out, helping people every day, putting her life at risk to make this thing called COVID-19. Um, hopefully treat these people so they can get well and recover we have no idea what she's seen and what she goes through but she delivers and she shows up every day doing her job helping save lives and and to sabrina we thank you um okay let me see natalie cole has the head y'all killing that doggone thing let me tell you something who else got love on their mind because natalie cole could tell you baby she get you right there what she say come on i hear you singing to karen they go a big old bumblebee, big compromise to be. Came over, it must sound so sweet to be had to come. Yes, yes, yes. She says she got love on her mind. And this will be an everlasting love. Woo! Let me tell y'all something fun. Heather dog on Headley. Heather Headley. If y'all don't know Heather Headley, y'all sleep, wake up. Don't sleep on Heather Headley. Heather Headley has an amazing voice. And we got a chance to go to her concert and we were right up front. And when I tell you I became one of Heather's background singers, so much so that the background singers looked at me and was like, yep, you with us. Because I knew every, mm, uh, mm, uh, uh, of that doggone, every song she sang, I was right there with her. Love me some music. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Okay, let me see. Yes, it's the lyrics. You think about the lyrics. Like some of the things that you think about, like, okay, Teddy Pendergrass. He sang what I was talking about, how he just said, if he wants you to, you know, turn them off, he said, turn them off. But then think about some of these prolific writers like. Um, Wake up, everybody, no more sleeping in bed, right? Or Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Do y'all know that that song is still just as relevant today as it was the day that he wrote that and recorded that? Do you know how old that song is? Y'all give me something else. I don't even have any idea what thing on time it is because I've just got caught up. And we we I, I opened up this whole segment with uh, OJ's I Love Music. But we didn't talk about the Spinners. We didn't talk about the OJ's. We talked about the Manhattans. Thank you, Winslow. We didn't talk about the uh, the uh, Tim Prees, the um, all them groups, the men groups that were doing the doggone thing. You know what? We didn't say the Temptations. I got to go back in the house now. It got a little too hot. But we didn't talk about the temptations all. What's wrong with us? Huh? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us that we didn't talk about the temptations? Are we having brain farts or what? Are we having complete brain farts? We didn't say a single solitary thing about the temptations. Did y'all say it and I missed it? Did y'all say it and I missed it? Because, oh my goodness. Give me a temptation song. And the whispers. What's wrong with us? It's too many. Karma Cox, 
tell me a tell me a group, tell me a song you love. Curtis Mayfield. Get Got to keep on pushing. Yes. Move on up. But you know, um, y'all think about Curtis Mayfield for a minute. That man was powerful long before his accident. But then after that, after his issue, you know, took over, he was still still in the studio. Amazing. Okay, y'all. We're gonna have to continue this. Cause this was good. This was really good. Oh yeah, I'm way over time. I've been outside and people see. This is what I'm saying. You start thinking about people. I'm locking the door. You know, safety first. Safety first. Got to lock the back door. Um, Y'all. Oh, I could have got a little tan out there. It's a little warm. But when I tell you that there are so many artists, there's so much music that we have been gifted. And think about how this process works for artists, right? They have that just pour into them and then they put it down and then they have music that they create with it. That's such an amazing talent and gift. Just like they have gifts, you have gifts too. So I'm going to say this in closing, as always, thank you so much for spending your time with me live at lunch. And I want you to take what you have as your God given gift and share it with the world. Cause it's going to bless us. It's going to bless us. I know it is. So I'm looking forward to it. We're going to celebrate you just like we all got together and celebrated all those artists. And there were so many, we couldn't even think of all of them that we love and we listen to and we're uplifted by. See, Gene Chandler, Ann Peoples, Curtis Mayfield. We just still, the list just keeps going because that's what we are to each other. We're gifts to each other and gifts to the world. So I want you to have a cyber hug from me to you. Mm -hmm. Because you matter to me. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I want you to make this Wednesday wonderful and amazing. And you know what I'm about to say. If nothing else, live like it's a gift because it truly is. I'll be back here tomorrow, 6 p.m. for Thirsty Thursdays. Hopefully the weather will co cooperate and I can be outside so we can play a drinking game. And then on Friday, back here at 1130 Central, live at lunch. Take care. Coach Rowe, out.